I absolutely loved the uh, uh, what the thumbnail that TJ put for, oh, this, thanks, for this live, <laughs> the Murder Mouse. <laughs> so, <laughs> if, uh, if you haven't heard already, Disney uh, they had a very fun time recently where they killed someone, and this is the first time Disney killed someone. Disney's killed many people. Don't get me wrong, um, but this person they killed by giving them something they were allergic to that they specifically asked not to have in their food. Um, they served them. I don't know if it was at a Disney park. It was something owned by Disney. Um, what was it? It was in Disney a Disney world. world. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and uh, they died and the widower, uh, her husband sued them and they tried to get the case thrown out because he signed a, a contract for Disney plus that uh, where he agreed to take any uh, lawsuit with Disney to arbitration and couldn't be heard in the public courts. Now, to any common sense human being, that sounds absolutely insane. It sounds borderline dystopian. It sounds like something you would hear about in Black Mirror. There was literally, I don't know if you guys were South Park people. I loved South Park growing up. I don't think it's aged very well. But one episode that still ages well is the Human Sent iPad episode, where this was the premise of the show, where Cartman yeah. gets put into a, or it was like Kyle or something, it doesn't matter. But like he gets put into a human centipede iPad and he just keeps not reading the terms and conditions and agreeing to more and more horrible shit happening to him. And it's like, why didn't you read the term of conditions? <laughs> but that's what this is. Like, that's literally what this is. Can you imagine being a human being and arguing before a court that this person's wrongful death case about their wife should be thrown out because they signed up for a Disney Plus subscription. Real humans actually did that. And it happens all the time. Like, this is obviously a severe case. Uh, and Disney has gone and waived their right to arbitration uh, because of how much backlash they were getting. But this happens all the time. Mo the most recent evidence I could find showed that there are over 850 million arbitration agreements signed in America. That's more than two for every, I think more than three for every adult in America. Uh, we've all well, signed them. And mm -hmm. it's insane yet because we have no other Americans, choice. Yet 50% of Americans who sign them can't read above a fifth grade level. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's a problem. And we always joke about it like, ha ha, but like it does actually affect things. And these companies get away literally with murder. And, and this one got publicity. But imagine all the ones that didn't. And this has happened many, many times. And it, it really, to me, this is one of those issues where it's like, guys, why do we keep letting this happen? It really only happens because no one talks about it because we just ignore it. It's just like we ignore the fucking terms and conditions when we agree to them. And... I don't think this is really a partisan issue. I don't see anyone in the political spectrum arguing that this should be a real thing that people do. And yet it is the case basically out of compl uh, like uh, laziness. Um, I don't know. Hey, have you guys seen any sort of like, hey, Disney's in the right here from any like crazy people? I, 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 I don't know. But like it is a it's such a widespread practice that someone's got to think it's right. Right. Uh. I think that it is going to have, you know, widespread appeal to anyone on the political spectrum. However, if there's going to be any movement on it, the Republicans need to suggest it first, because if a Democrat suggests this first, they're going to call it communism and be against it. Like, you know, it. Like I'm not I'm not being hyperbolic. That is exactly what is going to happen. The courts are where, already bloated. They just want more government power. Yeah, yeah no, I mean, yeah. it's like and I wish I was joking. Like, I, I mean, I deliver that completely straight. That will absolutely for a fact happen. And you can see this with like like. J.D. Vance, I know he's easy to shit on, but fuck that guy. But he uh, he was talking about, remember his proposal to, I'm coming back to the story, don't worry, I was a uh, short here, uh -huh. but the, uh, the proposal, he said, well, you know, we should let parents have extra votes for their kids, and maybe if you have kids, you shouldn't pay taxes or whatever. And Kamala Harris said, that's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. And he said, I can't believe you're against the child tax credit, even though she's been publicly for the child tax credit for years. And he voted against it. Well, he didn't vote against it. He wasn't in the Senate at the time. So, so, I, thought but every other, 
I, I no, wrong about I, that. yeah, every other Republican did, though. Like, mm-hmm. all the Republicans voted against the child tax credit expansion. And it's like, okay, you guys are just saying this for, for partisan reasons. My favorite, so the story with this guy is that he, he and his wife went to Disney World and they went to a restaurant that assured them that his wife's dairy allergy would be taken care of and that, you know, they did the responsible thing. Hey, my wife said dairy allergy. They said, oh, don't worry, the food's fine. The food was not fine. She had an EpiPen. They administered the EpiPen, but it didn't save her. And by the time the uh, you know medical assistants got there, they, they couldn't revive her and she ended up dying. So um, Disney, the, he sued Disney and it was for like 50K, I might add. It wasn't even a lot of the right. I mean, I, but yeah, listen, I can tell you, man, they Disney kills. The check they should have wrote the, that's, listen, John and I were saying this yesterday. In, first off, pocket change that is less than a rounding and they would have never noticed that have, money they if they spend more like, than hey, that on you, know what? you want 50 grand here's a million have a nice here's a million day. right yeah uh-huh. right. you would never uh-huh. notice it man and uh also and so disney says that uh well you know uh you can't sue us and you have to go through arbitration because people keep saying it's because they signed up for disney plus that's only kind of true it was a one month trial to Disney Plus. It was he they didn't even pay for the service and they had the uh the uh, terms and conditions. And then the one thing that's been bothering me about all these articles cuz I can't stop reading about this. I, I can't cuz it's just like it, none of it makes any sense at all. Uh Disney is trying to dodge it by saying uh well yeah the terms and conditions from the Disney Plus subscription, you know, I well I hope the Mandalorian was worth it. And then they they also said something like uh well listen, we only did this to protect ourselves because it's not our fault. It was a restaurant that happened to be on Disney property. So, you know, we should be exempt from this and, you know, not, not look like monsters right here. And all the articles I read were talking about these, you know, mile long terms and conditions. And they all said most people don't read them. That's bullshit. Nobody reads them. Yeah. Like zero people. Like There is nobody out there PJ, who PJ. isn't paid to read that shit that reads that shit. My fiance reads them. Holy shit. Why? And like I, mean, I, really, I had really this conversation why? with her. Like, and she was like, You don't read them? And I was like, Are you fucking pranking me right now? Of course I don't read right. no one reads them. She's like, I read them all the time. And I'm like, You're an insane person. I'm married an insane. insane person. Is she <laughs> yeah. in- is she able to make sense of everything that's in there? Right. Yeah. I, I don't think I mean, she. I think for like those big ones, I, I, you know, the giant long one, the fucking like thousand page PDF, she doesn't read them. But she reads like if she it's like a ten page document, she's fucking reading them. In wow, holy yeah. shit! That's, yeah, I don't, that's again, I don't know. Shit. She's not a lawyer. I don't think she understands it. <laughs> most of it's too small to read with the naked eye. I mean, most of it right? is like unreadable anyway. It's like the end of commercials where they start jabbering really fast to get the fine print. It's literally called fine print. She has like mm-hmm. eagle vision or something like that. But yeah, I just it's we shouldn't allow this to happen. We shouldn't. I, there, there's no reason that this bullshit that nobody bothers checking can, you know, uh, stop you from something wild like that. And I, and of course, like the, 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 you're right, John, the publicity is what shamed them into doing this. But if the issue wasn't, you know, so overblown and outstandingly ridiculous, they'd have gotten away with it. Like they probably have hundreds of times in the past. Like, what do you think, Todd? Yeah, I, um, I feel like I've come across some some uh some stuff previously stories about how the terms and conditions of of so many things are unreadable even even like they they'll they'll print them out and give them to people who have graduated law school and say make sense of this and tell us what this says and and a lot of times like even lawyers read these terms of con- and conditions and can't comprehend what it says but the average joe me who's trying to get a hulu account or Disney Plus, <laughs> I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be held legally accountable for for something that you say I have to check in order to right. get your service or whatever. Like like I have some sort of choice. I mean, there are all kinds of things in our lives that we have to have access to that we have no choice. Like even like like at our job or something where it's like, hey, we use this you know this service and you've got to have it for your job. Well, it has terms and conditions. That you have to check. Um, I, I don't know where, where do we go from here, but but it, it, I cannot be um, held liable for the fact that I had to check that thing to get a Disney Plus account, and then you can kill me on your theme park 
and and just say go screw yourself because you got a twenty dollar subscription to Disney Plus. That's crazy. I I it, I, I just want to I just want to add here. Like I can't help but picture like this guy. He dies, goes to heaven, sees his wife. She's just waiting there for him. Just like. Fifty thousand dollars. That's it. I know oh. that fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kinder man than me. Like I don't know. Maybe he was like, I just want the money to pay for the expenses. No, fucking take them to the cleaners, man. It's Disney. They're 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 monsters. They're the bots of this world, essentially. Like I remember when Disney bought they bought Star Wars, they bought ABC, they bought ESPN. They bought Marvel. Disney owns something like it's over a majority. Like it's like 53% of all entertainment is owned by one company, which should not be legal. So, yeah, they need to be taken down a peg uh, anyway. I wanted to I don't know if you guys remember this story from a few years ago when uh, a boy died and he wanted a spider. He wanted Spider-Man carved on his tombstone, on his uh, his gravestone. And Disney stopped them from doing it. They made him take down his Spider-Man, uh, you know, uh, gravestone because they own Spider-Man. Well, kind of. They, they split it with Disney, really. And they said, nope, you can't do that, Dad. Sorry about your dead kid. Uh, we need that Spider-Man too. So, so, like, these are the people we're dealing with here. These, these aren't human beings that should be taken seriously. Like, they need to be. I, I know that we got Marxists and stuff listening, but you guys, I've never felt more vindicated Kyle says, I read terms and conditions. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Like, look, this, so this is how I felt. DJ, this is how I felt when she told me she read them. I was just like, you have to be joking. And, like, what I want to know. I believe you sort of, but come, how? Here's what <laughs> I want to know. Uh, John, ask, ask your fiance this, and Kyle answers this. Well, maybe you'll mention it, but why read the terms and conditions? Have you ever read them as like, nope, sorry, I'm not going to use this smartphone because of the terms I, and conditions. I, I, I need you to answer that question. I need yeah, because every smartphone, every computer, every video service, every every internet service, like everything you read has 4,000 terms and conditions, and you're telling me it, it fucking matters what it says? Because I'd like to know, like, what are the red flags in there, you know, that you say, no, oh, well, here it says, you know, no ex post facto law or bill of attainder will allow me to sue this company if injury befalls myself or my family member. Get the fuck out. I, I don't, I, it seems like a waste of time to read this. Thing. Well, let's see what he says. Uh, I read terms and conditions. If something isn't in regular English or is ambiguous, you can argue in court. A reasonable person wouldn't assume you could get away with this. A uh, reasonable person standard and context of the document are all factors. I mean, that doesn't matter like if you read it or not, though. That that's true. You can you can fight these in court, but that you know, you read this. Like like what Kyle's kind of saying is true, but like, are you or is the average person really going to be able to like afford that lawsuit against his? That's team the thing. Argue this and go through all exactly. No, they're just going to go to arbitration. That's yep. much cheaper for them. Yeah, and the reading is superfluous at that point. Like, whether you yeah. read it or not, you can still make that argument. Mm -hmm. uh, the guy could easily say that was in the context of a Disney Plus account, therefore went, oh, well, I mean, Disney backed off anyway, but that's only because it was a... Uh, uh, Vought is meant to be a combination of Disney and Boeing. Okay, I didn't know that. That does make sense, though, because they uh, on the show, they have all, like, their, their phase one, two, three, and four and everything. But it has to be a pharmaceutical company, too. Uh, yeah. his bot is mainly a pharmaceutical. Anyway, it doesn't matter, but get deep matter. in the weeds on there. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't it's, matter it, but... it's every corporate conglomerate. Like, that, that's just <laughs> all <laughs> so, Yeah, that story was insane, man. Like, I when I saw it, I was like, God damn it, man. Because, like, like we were saying before, the bad press from this alone, you think, would have stopped people from, you know, kicking themselves in the face like that. I, I, don't, I don't understand it. How was Ron DeSantis not all, all over this? Oh, because there's no gayness involved. Because there's uh, because no no dudes are fucking dudes. And so he has nothing to get. This is what I'm saying. Like Republicans, it's funny when they say they're anti-corporation or thing, and they say, Oh, can you believe what Disney's doing? I thought you lefties were against corporations. It's kind of like when they jumped on us for saying, Hey, vaccines are good. Wild, wild take. Oh, so you support big pharma? It's just Oh, they're they're dumb and opportunistic and just like duplicitous on all fronts. I, I I quickly run out of patience for conservatives over the last couple of years. Like doing social media will do that to you, but yeah, any of that was left is, is pretty much all gone away by now. All right, good all right. shit. Good that shit. is our show, people. Superman Todd, how did you like it? Oh, that's great. I, I appreciate you guys. 
having me on whenever you do. Y'all are way smarter than me, so I stay. Oh, I stay pretty, stop pretty it! Big. He always say he stop always says it. this. DJ. He always stop says it. this. Stop it! Butters us up. Oh God! Wait, so uh, well, well, we got to do our bumper before we go. Um, Ty, so you're a. Are you an 05? No, I'm a major. I'm an 04. Oh, 04. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, so are you uh, Are you in operations then? I'm actually uh, an officer candidate school commander. Oh, okay. That's, that could be a fun gig. All right. Because yeah. I know S, S3, could, ooh, that's, I felt kind of bad that you were stuck there or whatever, but uh, that's kind of cool. All right. We had to do a bumper for uh, for Superman Todd in the show here, Don. Yeah, Todd. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna introduce that. I'm gonna throw to you. You're gonna say where people can find you outside of being a wonderful guest on the left wing, of course. Um, and then TJ will close us out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm Superman Todd. Oh wait, 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 wait. John, wait, wait, wait. John, John <laughs> I'm gonna say a little yeah, intro, yeah, and, then, and then you're My gonna bad. do that. I He's understand the confusion though. <laughs> like <laughs> it took him. I I was paused for like half a second. He's like, wait. Did he mean like now? Okay, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Wait, real quick before you, you start. Uh Dirty Bubble said terms and conditions are kind of gay, to be honest. Mm. Good news. So are we. All right, <laughs> let's go. Let's uh let's uh, let's just head on over to uh, the bumper. <laughs> All right. Okay, you officially made it to the end of the episode, sponsored by the one and only Scott's Hamburgers in Bixby, Oklahoma. Um, while you are at Scott's Hamburgers, you should definitely look up our wonderful guest, Superman Todd. Superman Todd, how about you tell our audience where they can find you? Hey, I'm just on TikTok um, as Superman Todd 2. This is my second account. First one got banned a couple years ago. Uh, so come out there and follow me, kind of kind of known as the Southern liberal. So uh, uh, go follow me. I appreciate it. We appreciate you, Superman Todd. He's the Southern liberal. He's the only one, or he's the best <laughs> one, I guess. Like, so yeah, make sure you follow his account. Folks, we appreciate it. I was going to make a joke about Scott's hamburgers and John beat me to it. So I got nothing for you now. folks. I know it's kind of my thing, but peace out. We'll catch you next time. <laughs> I, as soon as I saw your face, <laughs>